Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, dental offices like this one here in Brampton are mostly closed. All appointments have been suspended and emergency visits are only being taken at specific locations. But with the reopening of businesses on the horizon, dentists still aren't sure of how they're going to open up their clinics safely. You have to remember, um, Erica, that we are in the highest risk category. Right? We are seeing patients, we're generating aerosols for most of the treatment procedures that we're doing. It's for that reason that future visits to the dentist are likely to be very different from what you're used to. Expect adherence to social distancing measures, a lack of toys in the waiting room for children, and a different layout from the common open concept offices. All of this comes at a significant cost, but there are still no strict guidelines laid out by the profession's regulatory body. I know myself, I spent over twenty, thirty thousand dollars 30000 now uh, to be able to help keep our patients safe with different barriers or HEPA filtration systems. Um, I mean, it's getting out of control, really. Some dentists, however, don't have the luxury of spending the cash without knowing whether what they're buying will be needed. We're going to be in a lot of debt in the future. Uh, I'm not sure if we can hold on any longer. We're going to give them as much heads up as we possibly can. We have a working group at the Royal College, uh, but the important factor for us is the timing that we get from the Chief Medical Officer of Health and from the Ministry of Health here in Ontario. Uh, when we have a better sense of when that's going to happen, we will be ready to provide the information to the membership. One thing is certain, they'll need personal protective equipment. Many offices donated their surplus early on to frontline workers who were in greater need, but now they're not sure they have enough for themselves. That shortage, as we're all aware of, is becoming more and more uh, prominent, and certainly for us as dentists to continue providing um, that essential emergency and urgent care to our patients keeping them out of the ER and keeping them out of physicians' offices. The Ontario Dental Association and the Royal College say they're in regular contact with the ministry requesting the needed supplies. But the bills are adding up, and they're hoping that both government and insurance will come through to help offset the cost. Most clinics run at about an 80% overhead, adding to now the fact that we have more stuff that we have to buy, in essence, PPE, equipment, uh, these are all taking a real high toll. Now, once offices do open up again, expect a long wait time as dentists deal with a backlog of patients. They will be giving priority to urgent issues, of course. But one of the other factors that will contribute to the long wait times is the fact that dentists won't be able to see patients as frequently, potentially waiting up to two to three hours between room times. In Brampton, Erica Natividad, City News.